Have you we, disrupted we, yourself as we, well? We, we all do that. Sometimes it happens, it's easy to do that when the short-term results are really good. It's hard to do that when the short-term results are not so good and you know you need to make some significant bets, big bets, intelligent bets for the future. I mean, if we didn't make those bets, we'd have stagecoaches on the freeway. But, but I don't recall people talking like this 20 years ago. I'll bet none of your predecessors said always disrupt yourself, which is kind of a revolutionary concept when you think about it. Mm, I, I, I'm not sure they might have used those exact words. I think there is one thing different today, and the one is the speed of change. That right. sounds a bit sort of uh, like a trite saying to say, but there is in my mind no doubt. When I look at technology, and I would go back several years and I would say, if I asked everyone in this room who wants to be a digital company, how many people would raise their hand if you're honesty, you have a company. Who would? No one? We have a room of There's dinosaurs? somebody back there, but I can be itchy. You're, you're, okay. The question I, I is, the question if, is. How many people think their company should also be a digital company? Should your company, should your should company be, a be a digital, digital company? company? Raise okay. your hand. I don't think so, they understood. There you go. Sorry. My English. So <laughs> should you be a digital company? And I think underpinning that and why it's everybody, you know, there are these technology shifts. You have cloud, you have big data, you have mobility. And there are, what's different, I think, in this moment in time, and when you go to compare it, is there are three, and they're happening at the same time. And that has accelerated the pace of change. The that three, the the three, three I just said, digital. cloud, data, mobility. And I think there's a fourth about in front of us. And so that rate of pace and change, that is different. But if I go back and look at the news, and I, I, was, saying, I was saying to Alan earlier, I said I, I was doodling around and reading a lot of stuff on the weekend, and I found an article written on 2000, 2000, November, November 2000, sort of almost to the day where we are now. And I could have sworn it was written today. And it was about how one set would obliterate another set and that the amount of change and the disruption that was happening. So I actually do think they would have talked of disruption, but I think the rate of pace of it yeah. is far do more, you, and it's far more active on business models today. Uh, yeah, you agree active. with that, John? Absolutely. In fact, like I said, five years ago, we did not have a mobile offering. Today, over half of our customers are mobile, and not only are they mobile, it's our number one predominant channel. If we weren't in the mobile business, we would be out of business. So that happened in five years. Our industry hadn't changed that much in the last 500 years. And today we have to be real time, digitized, using data, mobile, and have to provide intelligent solutions to people on the go. So I mean, it's, it's changed so rapidly.